What's up, y'all? In today's video, we're gonna be discussing something that's been kind of plaguing my mind for quite a while now, and it's because I know, I feel like if I've been bamboozled, you've probably been bamboozled too. And to be honest, what's crazy is I'm part of that community. But this is also why I hate YouTubers. And I wouldn't necessarily say YouTubers, right? Just them particularly. It's like more so the companies that do their job so well in marketing it makes us feel that we are lacking out on things that we really don't need to make something that we want to see. Let me explain what I mean by this. We'll say something, we'll go as far back as honestly as like 2018. I think this is 2017, 2018. I think 2018 is when a GH5 came out. To me, that marked the era of essentially whatever camera that you own at this point moving up, you can shoot a movie, a cinema, something cinema. So your movie can be projected somewhere on the cinema screen with this camera alone. Like back then for 2018, those specs was crazy. But like now we get into the era of 2022 where the cinema camera is like taking over the world, right? But I don't really think other people, I really don't think people understand what a cinema camera is or what defines a cinema camera. So what do you do? You go to Google, you look up, what's the definition of a cinema camera? A cinema camera is a movie camera, which is also known as a film camera or cine camera. It's a type of photographic camera that rapidly takes a sequence of photographs, either on an image sensor or onto a film stock in order to produce a movie image to project onto a movie screen. Last time I checked, we was at 1637 for subscribers, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to my OGs. If y'all if y'all are here, make sure you just comment, we in the building and like the video. Definitely helps your boy out. Y'all been killing the like button for me, like for real, for I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Y'all been helping me out and I appreciate y'all so much for hitting that like button because you've been growing. We're trying to get the 1700 before the years out. Just help your boy out. Okay, so you've seen the definition of what a cinema camera is, right? What a movie camera is. To be projected onto a movie screen, whether through image sensor or through film stock. It didn't sit there and say that I needed to have SDI and they say that they need to have built in NDs and they say they need to have XLR audio input. It didn't say any of that. So essentially, what you have, honestly, I know that's gonna sound cliche because I know people like we talk about this all the time. Like, you show it to if you show to a job with an iPhone, sometimes I'm ready to shoot some shit, they're gonna shoot you probably. I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is if your job is just to tell good narrative work, good movies, good storytelling, the phone that you have in your pocket is good enough. And what goes into a movie is a lot more than the camera they're, they're talking about. If you look at BTS on projects and movies, the, the last thing you really see them sit there and talk about is the camera that they're using. They may mention that, oh yeah, we're using an Aria Lex because we like the image quality. Oh, we're using this because we like this, right? But you're not sitting there here and they're going like, oh yeah, because you know, the Aria Lex is the sensor of it, the 12 bit, the dynamic range, this and that. Like you'll get like a little bit of it, but then they're not they're not focusing the entire BTS around just that camera. They're mentioning, but they're talking about the actors, how the way the set design, the color, the art. Like they're talking about so many things that goes into making a movie. The camera is almost the last thing to be discussed. Prime example. Right now we are we are currently filming this on a Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now it's shooting in truth. It's shooting in 24 frames per second, 150 of a shutter ISO at 50, and I'm guarantee you, like we turn this off and we just switch to the camera audio um, on the actual camera itself, it's gonna sound like it's, gonna, it's not gonna look this good, right? But by having professional audio, by having professional lighting, and me having something to separate me from the background more is giving you more of a cinematic look. I'm not gonna make this video any longer than it has to be, y'all. I'm really just telling you, I'm, I, what I want you all to do is just reshift your focus. A cinema camera is not solely an FX6, a Red Komodo, an Ari Alexa, a Black Magic, an A7S III. A cinema camera is whatever can record rapid photographic images onto a, a image sensor or film stock that can be projected onto a movie screen. That's what a cinema camera is. So with that being said, man, go out if you if you have been holding yourself back from not making movies because you feel like you didn't have a cinema camera, you're wrong. You're 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 just wrong. And also, I do want to add before before we have people comment stupid stuff like, yeah, but it's, it's the tools to make your job easier and stuff like that. I think the problem with this is I see people who are just like one man bands um, with like like ridiculous like cinema cameras, like stuff that they can do easy with a mirrorless camera. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, it's they money they can buy what they want. But it, it, in the return of it, it'd be like they're, they'll push like this camera on you like, hey, you need this. And it's like, bro, like. You're telling me I need to go buy like essentially a six thousand dollar camera, ten thousand dollar camera to get something very similar that I can get with a two thousand dollar camera, a fifteen hundred dollar camera, a third, you know what I'm saying, a three thousand dollar camera. I just feel like we've been preyed on long enough, y'all. Like I and as you all see, like I don't really 
push stuff on y'all to make y'all go bash it because at the end of the day there's so many more things that y'all should be worried about that's gonna make y'all money like the last video i dropped about y'all having a listing on google and a w now for it to get bigger contracts like it's things like that this was actually gonna make your like that's gonna make you stand out the type of camera that you own unless this camera is in high demand for your production company I don't really think you need it. And don't forget, you can always rent shit. I think people forget that all the time. You can rent gear. I literally just had a person hit me up, a production, uh, a producer hit me up like, hey, this is the camera we're thinking about using to film this, um, to film this, this short, this, this film. Have you, have you had experience with this? I said, no, but you give me two days, I can figure it out. That's all I need. Give me two days with the red Komodo and I can figure this out. So, you know, I don't sit there and go buy a red Komodo because most of my production needs doesn't require a red Komodo. I didn't go sit there and buy an RE because most of my production needs doesn't require RE. I can shoot a film with anything at this point. Honestly, with good lighting and sound, as you can see, I can shoot the shit with a Z Fold 4.